In this video I'm going to show you how to set up the Bitax Gamma 601. So what we've got to do first is switch it on. So to switch it on at the PowerPoint. Now it usually takes that 20 seconds to turn on and get ready to go. Now what you need to do is go to your computer. Um, now the screen you see here is what you can use if you've already set it up previously. Um, but you've either lost the Wi-Fi details or changed some details or need to reset the device. So it's just going to this website here. I'll leave a link up the top uh, as a little card just so you can go to that if you need to reset the device. And that video will show you what to do. But anyway, if you're setting it up from scratch or you've already reset it through here, go to your internet and then your Wi-Fi. And it should just be the first one, the Bidax. Connect to that. Now it should automatically load the page. Could take up to 30 seconds to connect correctly. Um, I'll also leave this link just in case it doesn't load immediately for you. Just click reload again. Just needs a little bit of time to connect. Let's just need to double check. No, nope, that's all good. It's uh, loading now. So as you can see, the BitAx itself isn't doing anything different. It's just sitting there waiting for us to use the site on the computer. So now that we're all loaded, what you need to do is go to your network and type in your network configuration. So this is your um, Wi-Fi name, has to be exactly what you see coming out of your modem. And then the Wi-Fi password will go here. And then what you need to do is save that, go to settings. And in settings here, you'll put your information, whether you want to mine from a mining pool or do solo mining. Now, just be aware that some mining pools may not allow the BitX to connect. It may be too high of a hash rate or low of a hash rate. So just try a few different pools out. But if you're going to do some solo mining, you can do that through um, yeah, putting in the details here. It's got public-pool.io as the main setup. What you need to do is change this detail here to your Bitcoin address and then just change the ending here to whatever you want the worker name is if you've got a few of these set up. But otherwise, once you've set all this up here, your device will reset. Now what I'll do is I'll make another video just showing you how to change these details once it's been um, reset, if you can still access it. And, um, that's uh, how you set it up. So anyway, see you in the next video and thanks for watching.